You're listening to L.A. 40 with Katerina Kozias, only on L.A. Talk Radio. All right, good morning, L.A., and welcome back to L.A. 40. We are playing with our phones this morning. <laughs> it's Thursday morning, a little past the hour, and you are here with me, your host, Katerina Kozias, and I am so excited because we have a fabulous show ahead. My good friend and fellow host, fellow lifestyle expert who is killing it right now is on the show mr joseph solis hey there hey, how are hey, you hey. well first and foremost we probably should talk about how fabulous that we did not match outfits or talk <laughs> about it but great minds do think alike and how could we not look amazing you today know i in think these i think we were vibing this morning we must have telepathically been vibing because there's some blue and some white and some just some some popping of color. I think it's popping of passion and life. And a little bit of pink, but we'll talk about that in a bit. We Ooh. haven't, I swear to you, we have not drank a drop yet. <laughs> Even though it is breakfast of champions, we will get into that in a little bit. We're going to get into that in a little bit. What we're going to get into is who is Joseph de Solis and why is he here with us today? We are going to be talking about overcoming societal limits. And one of them that super ties into the show, right, is this limiting belief that somehow as we age, we need to slow down. Now, before we get into going fast with the program, I do want to give a shout out to our sponsors. So big, big shout out to All Green Funding, who is sponsoring today's show. If you're an entrepreneur and you need money, we all need money, right? Yes, we all we need, money. need money. <laughs> you want to hit up All Green Funding. They are based in Orange County, and they provide your company your person your business with the funds it needs to grow so get the green you need to grow we have a special promo code for friends of katarina and the show if you are looking to get some information on how you can secure capital to grow your business go to allgreenfunding.com forward slash katarina and they will be extra good to you you need money need everyone, money, needs, everyone so needs money absolutely yes. so write that down allgreenfunding.com forward slash katarina we are also streaming Live on Facebook. I know we're going to get a few people popping through here. We are on latalkradio.com here in our TV studios and also via Facebook, which is excellent. excellent. So what I'm going to do while Joseph starts telling you a little bit about who he is and his backstory and how he came to be in Hollywood and where he's going with his brand. We're going to be talking about branding as we get into this brand, his brand, and the importance of personal branding. Um, I'm going to do that, bump it to you as I pull up my Facebook so that you at home, if you are streaming on Facebook, can join us in the conversation. Uh, 818-570-5085 if you want to call in and we would love to chat with you or hit us up on Facebook. We can check out your comments. Yeah. So Joseph, who the heck are you? Who the heck am <laughs> I? Well, first and foremost, thank you for having me. Um, I think that this is a wonderful opportunity. When we spoke about this initially, mm -hmm. it kind of was a different format and then we started talking about my platform mm -hmm. um so weird still to say my platform by the way but that's part of what we're going to be talking about today is building your personal brands and ownership and really having a sense of power and purpose grounded in that mm. right and for so many people unless you're a 21 year old you know millennial or you're some lunatic on youtube who has to do crazy stuff you know, people think that it's sort of out of the range. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. But just really quickly, platform that I've come up with, SIP with Solis, S-I-P. Um, and that's kind of the platform that I'm playing with that really reflects the last 15 years, if you would, for me being within uh, luxury hospitality, wine and spirits, uh, you know, sort of my background, if you would, red carpet events, mm -hmm. and really being in that space and around uh, the power of I guess, celebrity and the, of course, ups and downs around it. But most importantly, taking care of people. And mm. what I mean by that is not just taking care of people on the daily, which I do, which is a huge part of my mantra, mm. but taking care of people, genuine, genuinely taking care of people um, as it pertains to hosting mm -hmm. and as it pertains to my brand. So 
Two, two meanings. Sip okay. or so lease, of course, we are going to sip. But SIP actually stands for something. Oh, what does the SIP stand for? Other than just sipping Correct. on something fresh so and lovely. Sip with Solis. S uh, it actually stands for success, inspiration, and prosperity. So three things for me as I've built up my brand and more importantly built up myself mm. in terms of who I am spiritually mm. connected wise. You know, success does not happen without inspiration and prosperity. So not only is this brand um, really about just sipping, people say, well, the disconnect between spirituality and drinking alcohol. I'm like, what? Please, we drink wine at church. For right. <laughs> I mean, come on. Like, Jesus really, drank wine. Come there, on out. <laughs> for me, there is no separation. I get asked that often. Like, mm -hmm. aren't they kind of like the separation of church and state? I said, absolutely not. Like, where does it say that we can't have fun? Well, and, and I, I love that you bring that up because we were having this conversation with a friend of mine the other day about spirituality. And, and, and actually around spirituality and sex and how for a long okay. time religion sort of made it, you know, bad or taboo. And really, it's one of the most joyous experiences you can have. Absolutely. As is sipping on something pure and tasty and fun. We're not saying go out and get smashed on tequila every weekend, but we are saying that you can sip on something that you enjoy to give yourself enjoyment in the moment, and that's absolutely spiritual. Why not? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And that kind of, like, you know, I, most of my background has been in spirits, um, working within cognac and mm. vodka space. Uh, but for me now, I think wine is a really comfortable place. Yeah. Um, it is social. It is fun. Um, as everybody knows right now, the rage is, um, you know, rosé wines. and. We'll plug this now so that we can continue <laughs> to have fun. So I just recently became partner in a wonderful uh, rosé uh, wine from Provence, and it's called Marcel, uh, or Maison Marcel. At Drink Marcel is the Instagram. Um, but it's a really, really fun off-dry wine. It has real hints of um, black Muscat grapes, which is very rare. Uh, very forward, and we're going to taste Katarina, so you can I, be the judge. I was going to say, I love the bottle, first yeah, of all. It's really I love plain the branding. It's excellent. So it's really fun, and it's perfect for me where I am. So we can, we'll drink and have fun and toast <laughs> all of you out there. But to continue with the SIP platform, so one of the things that Katarina and I have met probably a year and a half ago yeah. mm -hmm. um, in terms of reaching our next level goal of hosting and, mm -hmm. and doing things like that. And one of the things that we've always talked about is being able to build your personal brand, right? So what does that mean? First and foremost, people either think, ooh, you think you're all that to have your own brand? Like, who are you? And or, oh my God, I'm so intimidated. How did you do it? How, how do I do it? So it's one or the other, right? Mm. And that's some of the stuff that I think we're going to dig into because it's really important. My goal for the end of this uh, segment is to at least give you a footprint or at least a, a, an idea starting template to really, really think about who you are, and more importantly, how to get be very clear on your goals in terms of what your brand is, and then how to take some next steps. Now, I'm going to say it really early, Katarina, I'm no expert. All that I know is what has worked for me, okay? Now, throw it to the trash. It may not make any sense. Go to Barnes and Nobles and buy a <laughs> book from somebody else. Hey, I, I, all good. At the end of the day, if you find your power, passion, purpose through whatever avenue, maybe you meet through wine, um, <laughs> but, uh, it's great. But I think that there are some golden nuggets. I've, I've been a student of life and of positive thinking and really about sort of what we used to call self-help, God forbid. But hey, at the end of the day, if it works, it worked for me, um, and then sort of applying it to the next level. And the next level is where we're going to go because we're going to give you, as you, as you said, sort of a roadmap for those of you that are wondering, how do you go and build a personal brand? And I want to take it back to start where you started, which is how do you overcome part of the belief that says, who the heck do I think I am to even start? I say we start with a little bit of wine, Don't but we'll get into ask. this, and then we can get into the conversation. If you're at home and it's 5 o'clock somewhere... And you it's have a little hour somewhere. <laughs> you have a little bubbly. Now I have to tell you that I have been to France many times, the south of France. And one of my favorite parts of being in the south of France in the summer is rose. Yes. And so I am so excited that yours Provence. is actually a French wine. Yeah. And Provence is excellent. One hundred percent French wine. So big shout out and thank you Cheers. to Mr. Joseph de Solis for being here and allowing us to sip with him this morning. Mm-hmm. 
and I'm just looking at the clock, and it's 11-11. So Ooh. for those of you who don't know what that means, it's a very mm. powerful spiritual thing. So it means that the angels are aligning, mm. and all of your manifestations are coming true, and we are toasting at 11-11. I love that hey girl. so much. We love that. I, I, love, I love our synergy this morning. We're 11-11, we're toasting, we're dressed the same. It's all working out. But Go it always does. The shoulders right? off. <laughs> okay, so what I want to find out from you going into this is lovely, by the way. Thank you. Where can we uh, Where can we find the wine? Is it available online? Is it available? It in is. Stores? So drink, drinkmarcel.com mm-hmm. um, and also drink mar- at hashtag drinkmarcel on Instagram. You'll get to see really a lot about the brand. Yeah. Currently in uh, New York, Florida, and now because I want to be here, yeah. we are in California. So look for it. I'll be, um, you know. Yeah. Running around the state of California, pouring out some uh, rosé wine with you and it. sipping with Solis. So it's perfect. I love the evolution of you and the fact that this is what I love about getting a little bit older, contrary to what society tells us, which is like, heaven forbid, you're not a millennial, you don't matter. You are now taking everything that you've lived through in terms of experiences with work and with life, and you're now investing in not only your brand, but in other businesses that have a through line to your brand. Correct. Because you are now, as you're aging and maturing, are in a position both mentally and financially to be able to broaden your reach. And I love that. Yes, and it's also part of something that I've learned along the way, a couple of golden nuggets. Mm. Millionaire mindset, Mm. seven streams of income. You should be making money while you sleep. Now, am I making money while I sleep now? I I mean, I would like to think so, but in terms of where you want to be ultimately ideally seven streams of income at any given moment. Mm. And again, that literally is going to go back to what we're talking about, which is who are you? Mm. And I don't mean that in some hypothetical, oh Lord, uh, you know, sort of, you know, huge thing. Like, well, can we just jump in? Yeah, let's okay. go. Let's go for so, it. So, a couple of things that we'll jump in with, at least that's worked for me. Again, caveat. Right. Okay. Yeah. I like to use an example of a triangle. So, for okay. those of you who have a piece of paper or can get one, you know, ultimately a triangle. Okay. Okay. The very top of the triangle should be your ultimate goal. Okay. For me, mm. it's a company that I have created that I've dreamed about since childhood called Maison Solis. I love that. And that is luxury lifestyle brand with everything from candles to pillows to glassware to all the things that make me me. I come from a huge family, so I don't know how to cook for one person. I know you come from a large family. <laughs> I do. Big Greek yeah, family. Yeah, big Greek weddings and all it. that. Yes. <laughs> so for me, hosting, uh, I cook for family for 50 people as if it was last night's dinner, right? I love that. And I love hosting at home and having friends and breaking bread. So for me, sort of the art of entertaining is where I'm going with this triangle. Mm. But in order to get there, right, I have to establish my brand in multiple ways. Okay. okay? So the first thing for me is being able to make a connection with the people at home Mm. all over the world who trust me, Mm -hmm. who will buy my products. And the way to do that is, I mean, Katerina is totally on it. One of them is obviously a radio show or a platform. Um, I just finished writing a book. Amazing! So I took 15 years of experience doing events, cocktails, party food, Uh, red carpet events with celebrities and kind of put it all into one beautiful, fun project that I had so much fun with. Oh my gosh, that's excellent. And then events and and social media and PR. So again, back to the triangle, Mm. right? So in order to be here, you have to build your foundation. Mm. So when I looked at my life and I said, can I be out at four o'clock, oh sorry, New York, four o'clock, two o'clock in the morning (laughs) here, wasted at One Oak or one of the nightclubs, you know, I'll do it every once in a while. I'm not that old, right. but can I do this every day? Like, you know, the dumb girl s- spilling right. Red Bull and vodka all over my, you know, nice pretty yeah. shoes. And I like can't. The, the guys outside starting to fight at two in the morning because they're hammered. Right. But and then the, the headache you're going to have when you wake up the next day. day. <laughs> but that Mexican hot dog with the bacon. Oh, geez. Anyway. So good at 2.30. Digra- so digress. good at 2.30. So anyways, what worked for me? So a wine made sense, right? Mm-hmm. It's still within the genre of my platform but it's more social and it more represents who my brand is. Mm -hmm. So that's the first thing. Well, you know what I like about your brand as part of your first pillar, just to compliment you on that, is there is a refinement about you and you're bringing that in through the products that you're now aligning with. And I like that because you're sticking true to you. Correct. And that's such a great point. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to dive into this, but Mm -hmm. when I ask the question, who are you? If you are a gardener, if you are a 
caterer, I, right, I mean, a bowler. A fitness who, expert. Who cares yeah. right. what it is? Mm -hmm. Just be authentically 1,000% mm -hmm. you. And I use the two examples. One of them is the woman on, um, on This Is Us, right? Okay. And, you know, she's a, a plus-size woman, right? Mm -hmm. But she is the best plus-size woman that you could ever be. You, That's called authenticity. Yes, because you feel the energy radiating off, radiating yes, off of her. Yes, and, and there's probably yeah. another 500,000 people in the world that look and think and act just like you. Not everybody looks like a supermodel on Instagram. Not everybody's an insta-thought. Like, <laughs> that's all made up. Like, let's be real. Like, that. that's all made up. Like, so be you. The second yeah. example, mm -hmm. Betty White, right? Mm -hmm. She peaked at 91, <laughs> right? Hot in Cleveland. Killing it. Not that we want to be 90s. 91. No, no, we I don't really, want to wait that long. I can't wait that long, universe. <laughs> I'm going to drink at that thought I, of on 91. That note, but hold on. <laughs> but 91, right? So my point in that is find out who you are and how do you get there? So I just had dinner with a, a good friend who's in transition in New York last week and, okay. you know, really known in the industry and is kind of in a transitional point. Sure. And we had dinner and it was great. And I said, the first thing that I want for you to do, and I think this is great advice for everybody, take a piece of paper, write a circle in the middle and put your name in it. Okay. And then write spokes, mm. okay? And in those spokes, meditate first, pray, whatever it is that you do, get into a really clear, beautiful space and you know, get into a space of being at peace and at joy and then just start to fill in the blank on those spokes with no judgment, right? I like to, do florals on the down low. I paint. When I'm stressed out, I cook. When yeah. I jog, whatever it is that makes you you, mm. fill out those spokes. Mm. Walk away from it. Let it be. Have a glass of wine with me. <laughs> sip of soles. Come back to it and say, okay, of these ones, right? Pray, put your hand over it. Which one of these ones to me resonate the best? And it doesn't mean that you're leaving the other ones. It just really means you're prioritizing what brings you the most passion at that moment. Mm. And when you find those, ideally two or three, you're onto something. This is kind of where the golden nugget starts to lie, okay? So let's go back really quickly. You don't have to be the 21 millennial kid at Coachella to be popping on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You don't. Half the people that I subscribe to are older, you know. So we'll get into social media a little bit deeper because again i'm no expert i i, I i've taken courses we've taken courses right. together on how do you utilize the hashtag right. all that mm -hmm. all that stuff which is important that's the technical side of it but the real side of it is authenticity and i'm going to go back to that word so many times right authenticity know who you are know that you're a gift to the world and i'm not sounding hippy dippy i've only had two sips so i'm not <laughs> there yet otherwise i'd be talking and, like and he does spend a lot of time on the east coast too so it's not just west coast verbiage here correct i'm, I'm <laughs> east coast west coast yeah. I'm, anywhere i can get a check i'll see you there, there how about you that um, <laughs> no but seriously like authenticity understanding that there is no other katarina in the world zero there's no other you in the world there's no other me mm -hmm. And I think once you realize that and you're okay with that, mm -hmm. the universe will align and things will literally start making sense, right? And then that's where you start to build your brand. So building brand, building brand. Kay. Okay, what does that mean? Mm. It sounds so big, right? right yeah. Am I Macy's? Am I right. Target? Am I Nike? Right? Like, how do I Am I Marcel? Brand, right? I mean, like, you know, are all these different brands. What in this day and age, I think for those of us, at least in our age, everything that we learned about marketing, everything that we learned about sort of branding and all that good stuff, take it, package it pretty, put it in a box, and put it in your shelf, because it's gone. Throw it away. It's yeah. gone. It's that, those days are over. Those days are completely over, yeah. okay? What's not over is taking the essence of a brand. What I just kind of went through with that circle, I didn't call it the technical name, but What's it's the really technical name? it's really called the brand essence wheel. Okay. And that's what brands use. Ah. I've consulted with brands. I mean, my background is marketing and you know strategy and as, as well as events and agency work and stuff like that. But it's called the brand essence wheel, and it really is true about yourself. Finding finding the essence of who you are. Mm. Okay. So one is the mindset, mm. right? Get rid of any crap. Can I cuss on here? This, yes. Okay. And this is really where I want us to spend a little bit of time this morning. Great. How do you get rid of that mindset? Correct. Because I've gone through it myself. 
when I first moved to Hollywood, I didn't tell anyone. Because I was like, they're going to think, like, who the heck does she think she is for pursuing her dream, for thinking she can play in La La Land. And I literally was out here for almost a year back and forth between here and Miami because, you know, I spent a lot of time in Miami. But I was sort of running two parallel jobs and two parallel lives and two parallel coasts because I was still afraid to let my foot go from that perceived mm -hmm. security and perceived persona that I had built up and step into, guess what, guys? I am going to go for this. Yeah. And, like... I think you hit so it on the nose. I, I want to go into this I, with you. I think it's I think it's quite simple, and we make it harder than what it is. We each of us. Each of us, uh -huh. me included. Yeah. I deal with this every day. Yesterday was one of those down days for me. Who the hell do you think you are? Like <laughs> how do you you know? I mean, we have those, and it's about resilience, and it's about you know, yeah. waking up the next morning and saying, okay, I'm back on track. But how? Okay. Mm. So first and foremost, you have to make the choice that you want to be a brand. Okay. And what does that mean? Like, what does that mean? okay, so I wake up one day and I'm a brand. What that means is, and there's also this conversation that I've had with so many people. Yeah. If you choose to be a brand, uh -huh. you can pretty much, let's not say goodbye is the right word. You're going to have to sacrifice who you are from a visual standpoint to the world. And I'll uh, give you an example, yeah. okay? I, I, I meet with a life coach, and sure. you know some of the people that I've worked with in the mm -hmm, past. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I've done on my social media, which I think were, for me, at least who I'm speaking to, okay. which is aspirational consumers, luxury consumers, in the know, right? Instagram now yeah. has become everything. So no longer is a resume relevant, right? right? No longer relevant. So really quick for Instagram, just so everybody's on the same page. There is a science, there is a wait for it. Now, you know, basically, I, when I applied for my apartment in LA last year, the owner of the building, who is extremely, uh, we'll just say not young, okay, <laughs> okay uh, told me, well, you're really trending on Instagram, so that's a plus for you. Wow. So she went through my social media. <laughs> Okay. But, but these are the people that you are applying to go and live in the apartment building are going into yes. social media. And so, they're, and as you said, a little bit more mature. Yeah. If you're just tuning in, I'm just going to pause you, Joseph. Great. If you're just tuning in, so we had a little bit of a glitch with our Facebook, but we're glad you're here with us now. We are here with Joseph D. Solis, a Sip with Solis, a lifestyle brand, and uh, new... Uh, are you an owner, part owner? I'm a part owner, part owner, owner in, in Marcel. In, in Marcel Rosé from Provence in France. Yeah. And, uh, and we're talking about building a brand. So yeah. back to building a self brand. Building a self brand. Yeah. So like you said, Instagram, the importance yeah. of Yeah, so right? social media in general, but for Instagram, just a couple of tips. So the first nine squares that you see at any given moment, if I went to your Instagram right now, okay. the first yep. nine, the nine posts the ones, yeah. are really what anybody's looking at. Interesting. And what I mean by anybody, not just other people, not just consumers, not your potential date. I'm talking about, for at least in, in our sense, yeah. literary agents, mm -hmm. publishers, casting directors, um, everybody. And I think that goes back to the fact that we're really living in a world where the attention span is so, like, so minuscule, you have literally a tenth of a second to capture their attention mm -hmm. and another two seconds to infuse what you want to infuse them with. Yeah. And you're right, they're going to look at those top nine. If it keeps their interest, they'll keep going. If it doesn't, you're done. Yeah. Right. And another thing, like mm -hmm. for me, and I'm not saying that this is for anybody else, I had to sacrifice the cocktail photos, the food photos, the three o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning with my friends. The party pics. You know, uh, what I made last night for dinner. <laughs> because ultimately what starts to happen, just a little quick tidbit as well. So the nine squares. Okay. The first square, yeah. the, your last the most post, recent, yeah. is basically your headline. Mm -hmm. And if, like a newspaper, if you want to read the article, you go to the page. Right. So that's where your Insta story should tell the story about that last post. Interesting. So that's where you and I are hanging out, drinking wine. Right, on the show, right? getting ready. To, yeah, yeah, and you know that that lasts for 24 hours. Right. So what does that mean? You have to consistently be posting. Mm. And that takes a lot. And what I'm getting to full circle about your original question is, yeah. You have to have a sense of self, mm. right? And what I mean by that is so easy for me to put up a pick up, put up a picture, and I'm like, oh man, I look so fat, I look old. Oh my god, my <laughs> wrinkles. It's like, dude, get over it. This is you, and mm. this is what you're bringing to the world, mm. right? So the first step, I think, to answer your question, sorry guys, yeah. just so no, much no, to talk no, about. Great. Yeah. First step, I think, about really being a brand is wanting 
to be mm. a brand. Now, what does that mean? So you've now transitioned from average Joe, everybody else into the world, into a person, a product, or a thing that is putting yourself out there to the world, mm -hmm. ultimately to make some monetary strides, mm -hmm. but unfortunately what's gonna come with it is something called fame. <laughs> and, and, and something that comes along with fame is something that's called haters, right? Which is called haters. Not everybody wants that. So mm -hmm. for those of you who really aren't into that, I mean, you can probably tune out. No, I'm kidding. We don't want you to tune out now. <laughs> don't tune out. We're don't having fun. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is the first thing that you have to think. I have a friend who is just amazing. She's gorgeous. She's a gardener. She's vegan. I mean, on camera, she posts the most amazing stuff and has an extremely jealous husband. Mm. So it got to the point where it almost got to a divorce. Wow. And she said, is it worth me pursuing myself mm. on Instagram mm. as a influencer, we'll talk about that word later, mm -hmm. as a brand or my home and my, my love and home and my children and my husband? And I couldn't give on invite. That's, that's you, a, you, that's and, you a and God handle one. that right. one, right? Yeah. You, and, you and God handle that one. So again, you have to know that this is something for you. Mm. The other side of it, which is the most important side, is that you have to know that you deserve this. Mm. It's your God birth right to be your grandest vision of who you are and show it to the world. Some people are uncomfortable with that. What does that bring up? You can't be mediocre anymore. As Marianne Williamson says, you can't show up small and play small in the world anymore. And, 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 and jumping off of her and her teachings and, her, and, and what you just said, when more of us decide to give ourselves mental permission to step into who we are and allow our light to shine without dimming it Amen. because we fear others' opinions, we inadvertently allow other people to step into their light. And that's the whole point of this. That's the whole Let's point of all this. collectively shine, right? Yes. Why are we not doing that? Imagine imagine a dark field and you have fireflies who are lighting up. How <laughs> bright will the night be God. if we all are in our essence putting out our light like fireflies? Uh, our authentic light. Our authentic you know? light. So the basis is mm. being a brand for you. Mm. That's first and foremost. Again, meditate, pray talk to your partner, talk to yourself, whoever it is, and understand with that will be a shift, mm -hmm. right? And that shift may not also be for everybody. Uh, and we'll, we use the word famous so easy now. Li we live in Hollywood for right. God's sake. I mean, <laughs> when I was coming here, somebody was doing a photo shoot on the corner. I mean, I'm guilty of that too sometimes. But <laughs> but I'm, it is very pervasive here. Listen, hear. fame now is like insta-famous, right? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not talking about that kind of fame, right? I'm not talking about you wanting a, a tweet back from Kim Kardashian, <laughs> like, no. And if she tweets you, it better be authentic. That's awesome, right. I'm talking about um, the type of acknowledgement, not fame, but the type of acknowledgement that actually benefits people, mm -hmm. that connects with people, that helps them ultimately be better themselves. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So that's the first step. Is that a driver for you personally? Oh, uh, 1,000%, mm -hmm. I mean, Driver for me is I, and I, and it, again, not to sound cheesy, but my life itself is a gift from God. Mm. What I do with that and what I do with my life is my gift back. Right. That's, it, it's that I simple. That. Yeah. I have one opportunity in this body, in this lifetime. And, you know, I come, I think we've talked about this, but I come from very, very, very humble beginnings. Um, pretty much what I like to call a self-made man. Mm -hmm. I've worked since I was, you know, 12 years old. I worked in the fields. I come from a field working, very proudly, come from a field working family. Um, and for me, hard work, that's just something that happens. Mm -hmm. it, it's not a choice. Right. Um, but I also had the ability to be artistic and eclectic mm -hmm. and, and, and think and grow and just create. And to be you, To Joseph, be me, yeah. Right? You know, it, it, yeah. It, it takes some time, so mm -hmm. thank you, yeah. Um, so you build a brand, oh, you just, so, the, so the number one thing is, do you wanna be a brand? Correct. Let's assume the answer to that is yes. Uh, next step is decide who you are, right? Understand who you are. Do and I liked your wheel example. Correct, decide who, what are you, you, about, you are you are right? many things. If people say, "Oh, I don't have, I don't do anything," you're absolutely crazy. First of all, <laughs> you woke up this morning, right? What did you do? Maybe make coffee? 
dude, do you love coffee? Yeah, I mean, I love coffee, right? right? Could you be the next coffee? Re- like, who knows, right? Totally. You were in bed. Do you like sheets? Maybe you do a review on 800 thread count sheets. Well, I'll buy from you. And it's interesting <laughs> because I like, you know, I'm a woman, A. Number two, I'm a, you know, aging woman. And so I'm all about skincare these days. I have a skincare company that's reached out to me that now we're discussing about my being a brand spokesperson for them and doing mm-hmm. some of their you know corporate videos and all of their you know in like national posts and so because that falls in line with who I am and what I'm about at this phase in my life. That's amazing. Yeah. And we'll get into that step in I think the next two or three steps. Okay. But step number three. I think what's the saying? If if you build it, they will come. Mm-hmm. And I think that's a really big part of what mm-hmm. we're going to be talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think you know don't I. Don't ever say that you don't do anything. Mm-hmm. It's really sad. And I think this is really disrespect to yourself because yeah. you do many things. Are you a mother or a father? Do you know how many mother and father blogs are there? Do you know how many I follow? I'm not a father <laughs> yet, but I want to be really bad. Mm-hmm. And so like I follow all these fatherhood blogs that are so inspiring to me and they have like a million followers. Yeah. And they're everyday guys. You if know? You're, I was going to say, if you're watching this and you're watching us on Facebook or LA Talk Radio, let us know who you follow on Instagram. Like just hashtag it and, and let's let's get some collective exposure for everyone. If you're not following Joseph, Joseph on Instagram right now, boom, boom, um, put your brands up so people can click on you right sure. now. First brand, first Instagram at JD, S is in Sam, O-L-I-S is in Sam, JD Solis. Everything is there in my bio. The other, cool. um, the other Super brands. Solis, uh-huh. Hustle Hospitality Group, my company, et cetera, cool. et cetera, et cetera. But that, nice. that's enough. JD Solis. You'll find him. You'll find me. And honestly, and I don't mean this on some crazy whack shit, like DM (laughs) me and I'm more than happy. Mm -hmm. I always reply back to my DMs. Cool. Except for the ones that are at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, that want you know something they're a little more crazy. Than advice. Um, <laughs> although you never know. Hey. Discernment is important. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's awesome. All right. So okay. So you decided that you want to be a brand, right? What 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 steps are next? Mm. Okay. So you have to establish yourself as an expert. Mm. Don't be intimidated by that word. You have to express what you know about the subject is probably a better way to say it, Mm. okay? So you probably have some tips and tricks. You probably have some insight if you're a car enthusiast, right? If you, honestly, the worst thing in my life, cleaning house. Okay. So I will go onto social media or YouTube and learn, I never knew the power of vinegar and baking soda. Oh my God, like, who knew? Like, that's what we used as a kid. Like, and I thought I wanted to use the expensive right, soaps yeah. and all, you know. Fancy packaging that leaves a streak, right? right. And you're going, why did I pay there's, $24 for this? Why? There's a woman on YouTube. <laughs> she's probably in her 60s. I mean, I love her. And she has taught me so much about house cleaning that I actually want to do it now. But my point in this is do what you do and do what you best and start to show it to the world. Mm. Okay, this is the action part. We can dream all we want. I spent half of my life in my dreams. Mm. And to your point, we're here, right? LA 40, being 40. Yeah. It's taken me this long to really lose the fear, Mm. to really get together the ability to believe in myself enough. And if you've known me for those many years, not you, Joseph, you're so confident. That's what I put out to the world. But for me to own Mm. my greatness has only been within, I think, the last seven years. Because I think... And if you're young, sorry, if you're younger than us, don't wait that long. No, exactly. Do the world a favor. Do it now. (laughs) And and I was going to say, and that's the message, right, is is you can tap into that regardless of what age you're at. I I am working with somebody right now. um, He's one of my mentors, and he's 70 years old. And he literally is just starting a brand new chapter of his life at 70. Why not? Yeah, it's interesting that you say that. That's another super important thing, guys, ladies and gentlemen, sorry. Find a mentor. Mm. I have not had a mentor pretty much my, I mean, I've had mentors as a child, but in my adult life, Mm. as it pertains to passion and work, Mm. I've never had a mentor. Mm. I've been a mentor to many, many, many people. That's Mm. very, that's really important to me. I put it out to the universe on my vision board at the top of the year, Mm. and I just met two people in their 60s. Shout shout out to people in their 60s and 70s. I mean, you guys, like, where have you been all my life? Right. (laughs) Um, Two mentors that have come into my life Mm. that are just angels. Yeah. So mentors are very, very, very important. As much as it is to be a mentor, you know, finding a mentor, finding somebody in that space, 
um, is is super super important. So great great for mentioning that. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, really I important. That, yeah, and I'm glad to see that you are. But you're such a lovely spirited person. Um, I can see you wanting to genuinely help people that are going through where you've already been. That's well, part let, of. But let but know. let's be very clear. Mm -hmm. Let's define help. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing the work for you. Right, right. No, no. And that's what we want you to understand. Is this is what there, I mentioned there is a hustle. in this next <laughs> subject, which I called, and I will stress with exclamation points, mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. Right? So for us to sit around and dream, for us to sit around and say, I, I, I work too much, I don't have the money, I have kids, uh, you know, whatever you are using as an excuse, and I do use the word excuse, underline, <laughs> let it go. You know, we have 24 hours in a day. Get we it. all do. We get mm -hmm. it. You know, there is time. If it is worth it and it's worth it to you, you will make the time. I, I can't tell you how. I know how I did it. Not everybody may be in the position for me to do, do it the way that I did it, but you will figure it out. Mm -hmm. You really, w we really will, will. One of the things that I do that I think is really simple in my mindset it, and in my actions is I keep a journal okay. next to my bed. So at night when I can't sleep or I'm falling asleep, any ideas that come to mind. Mm. When I wake up in the morning, anything that you know, comes to mind. And it's free writing, guys. You're not expected to be a writer. You're just literally, sometimes I can't even read my own chicken like a scratch. thought dump. But you're yeah. transferring it from here mm. to here so that you can have clarity, right? But what I always say is baby steps. Okay. Do at least one thing, one little thing every day to get you where you want to be. Just one. And it'll start to get easier. And then you'll do two, right? But if that one thing is literally reading an article, if that one thing is just simply finding a quiet space mm -hmm. and breathing for five minutes and meditating and just having some gratitude, I will guarantee you, you will walk out of that space in such a better way that your mind is a little bit more clear. Mm. Be clear. And we are in California, so, <laughs> you know, if your dispensary is close <laughs> around, that doesn't hurt. I'm just saying. I mean, we have Sipo Solis now. Who knows? The, the, Puff with Solis there is you, coming there you soon. Go. But I, I want to go back to what you just said about the, the forward movement. So uh, it was Will Smith back in the day. I was watching one of his, like, Gold Quest videos, and uh, he was talking about growing up, and I think he has a brother. So when he was... 10 and 12 or they were 9 and 8 or something like that um, their dad made them help to build a shed in the back and he literally had them all summer laying bricks like brick by brick by brick and, mm. he, and he, he, he said at the time we were looking at this pile of nothing thinking like what are, what are we doing out here like this is nothing and he says by the end of the summer that brick by brick by brick by brick had created mm. an entire structure and he said that exercise that summer was so poignant for me in my understanding of how life works mm. that when I came out here and I started with the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and then I started with my you know uh, little b-boy tracks and you know he, he said I just day by day by step by step by forward by forward and now boom you know mm. so shout, shout out to Will Smith yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you guys follow him on Instagram but the last few months his posts have been so incredibly awesome. He's so excellent. I mean, I just kind of like want to put that <laughs> on my vision board. I don't have a, I don't have like a, a, a vision board for sound or a soundboard, okay. I guess. Ooh, interesting, soundboard. Soundboard. We're going to market that. <laughs> Nobody take my idea. Uh, but it, they've been so brilliant. So yeah. just, you know, tidbits, right? Mm -hmm. Tidbits. Yeah. That's another thing for me. I am a constant sponge. Mm. Finding and being open to things anywhere. I mean, we just saw 11.11 on the clock. Right. Like, just be open. Signs are there. The universe will speak to you if you let it, right? You just have to be open sometimes mm -hmm. to seeing them, wherever it can come from. I was just in an Uber, and the song played, and I thought, you know what? I needed to hear this song right now. Mm -hmm. So it's just about, you know, staying open, mm -hmm. all right? Okay, so, so back on items. track. Action, yep. action items. Mm -hmm. So it's about taking steps, whatever that means for you, but doing something. Mm -hmm. Um, so I recently, um, for those of you who don't know who are watching, and for those of you who don't know me yet anyways, sure. I actually rec recently started uh, fragrance. I started perfume school. Wow. I don't think gosh, you, I don't even, I didn't you even know, know this. this. Yeah. Because uh, you're building your bloody empire. I well, love it. Well, you know, one brick at a time, there right? I'm, let's, I'm well, gonna tell create, me about this. I'm going to create a scent that smells like brick. How about that? <laughs> we'll call it the Will Smith. There we go. Um, well, a couple of things. So yeah. one, I've been obsessed with perfume and scent my entire life, right? Growing up, we didn't have the we didn't have a lot of money. I worked constantly to help support my family, but what whatever left over money that I did have, what do you think I bought? 
cologne. Can- and I'm talking cologne. eau de toilette, wow. not, not parfum. Not in a perfume. <laughs> right? But why did I buy it? Because mm. it was an expendable, like a, it was an like expensable, a rather, a luxury mm. that I could smell every day that transformed me into a different place. I love that. Wow. And it was affordable. And for me, it was escapism. It was just brilliance about me being able to escape to another place while I smell it. After the field, After right? the field, yeah, you know, just, wow. and, and at this point it's junior high, so you know, just, it was something for me that has been a, a passion for my entire life and I was always scared to do it. So, when I did my triangle and I did my brand okay. essence wheel, and I on that brand essence wheel you was said, I love fragrances. perfume, uh-huh. perfume, candles, anything right. that I was going to say to the candle, right, you know, all factory, like anything stuff, yeah. that was mm. that was that right for me, which I'll call escapism, which I'll call um, fantasy, right? And so I said, fuck it, I'm going to do this. So being in wine and spirits my entire life, I've worked for, I've had the beauty of working for some really amazing brands, you know, Moet Hennessy being part of them. Um, Top on global whiskey. brands. Yeah. Yes, and, luxury lifestyle brands. Mm-hmm. And I've been to the factories and, and, and to the distilleries, and I know the process of distilling good whiskey and mm-hmm. cognacs. So funny. The sa- perfume is the ex- same exact ah. thing. So when you nose, if I nose spirits or wine, it's the same thing. So what I'm getting at that, guys, is on that brand essence wheel, who knew that the next thing would move into the next thing that would move into the next thing? And they all come together. And I'm just going to interject on that because I want to make a point here because you just made it without even realizing you made it. <clears throat> here you are. Let's say we have two mountains. And you're on the mountain of spirits and wine and lifestyle. And over here is the mountain of fragrance and essence. And you're you're looking at that other mountain going, I kind of want to play there, but I don't know how to get there. And I don't want to go all the way down because I don't have another 20 years to scale that mountain. Mm. But look what just happened. Because of the life experience you have been through, because of the path that you're on, you are not having to go from this mountain down and rescale it. You are actually jumping across at a lateral point because you're able to bring your 20 years of life experience and work experience and, and, and so you can make that bridge. So for anyone out there that is wondering how do I make that transition from going from where I've been to my new dream, don't undersell yourself with respect to the amount of intrinsic knowledge and experience you're going to bring with you that, that will be of value. Don't be scared to jump to that next mountain. Yeah. I love that you're going there. Definitely don't be scared I love to it. jump. And mm. All right, so then action items pop in, and then you start to have to really rebuild yourself as a brand, right? right? right. I think the first steps are really about your image mm-hmm. and establishing yourself as an expert, mm-hmm. okay? So once you've done that, how do you do that, right? So start putting up YouTube videos, YouTube, sorry, YouTube videos, start putting out content. Content is key, th- key these days, guys. Mm-hmm. Again, you have an iPhone. Everybody has a phone, right? We all have it in our house. We all have it in your house. Start establishing yourself that way and really start getting some motion around your brand. So Mm -hmm. how did did you establish Mm -hmm. your brand? Let's talk about that too. So absolutely. So my brand has been shifting and morphing and changing, right? One of the things that I wanted to be authentic about when I came to Hollywood, it was don't tell anyone how old you are. You look like you're 29 or 30. If people ask, don't even tell your agent. And I was 39 when I got here. Mm. And everyone was telling me, like, you're crazy, girl. Like, you're coming 20 years too late. And I thought, well, that's your opinion. So I'm going to just continue on my path. And I thought, well, what can I be authentic about? Well, shit, I'm turning 40. (laughs) So let's talk to some of these stations and see if anyone's interested in doing a show about what that means. So that's part of me and my authenticity is kind of owning this age that I am and feeling into it. Because let's be honest, especially for women, it's tough to, to... Yeah to admit it, right? There's still that societal stigma. But then I realized that my brand isn't just that. I come from 10 years of international media relations, media pitching, Mm. media exposure experience. I have helped brands get visibility in Dubai, in Hong Kong, in Monaco, and I'm living in a town which is the number one media town in the world. So who Katerina is, is actually somebody who is a bit of a media expert. Yep. And so that's where my brand has come into play. And my my book is also coming out in a little bit. And I'm super pumped for both of us that we got there. Uh, but it talks about your media mindset mastery, which basically invites everyone to recognize 
that we all have confidence and charisma within us Absolutely. and the ability to influence and persuade. We might think it's the guy on TV. We might think it's you know, Brad Pitt. We might think it's Joseph De Solis, but it's all of us. All we have to do is tap into that, and then we'll see explosive results in any area of our life, even if we're a plumber. Right. You tap into your confidence when you walk into that room, I guarantee your business is going to grow. 1,000. So there, that's how my brand is evolving and morphing, and I'm starting to own that a little bit because I had a lot of the it. who does she think she is syndrome in my head. we got to let that shit go, yeah. guys. We really do. Who do you think you are? You're, you're fantastic. You. You're yes. wonderful. You're a creation of God. You're an individual. Like, I don't, again, let me get off my, like, hippy-dippy, <laughs> hippy-dippy talk, but I firmly believe that. Really funny story, just a joke, and for those of you who are watching that are my friends, I make a joke. When people ask me how old I am, I say I'm 29 on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because aren't it's, we all? It's, it's a joke. It's a joke, right? It's a great filter. Um, but but I think, you know, I, I think that's a really, really good point in, that, you, you know, that, that you make, all the points that you make um, in terms of, like, the, the authenticity, we're going back to that again. So one of the properties, actually how Katarina and I met were um, doing TV stuff. So yeah. part of my, and this is me guys, part of my triangle to get here is I wrote the book, now I'm working on the TV show, I'm working on a couple of the t different TV shows. Um, Sip with Solis is the name, obviously. Success, Inspiration, Prosperity. But as I'm pitching it, because I'm still in pitch mode, so if there's any casting folks or production houses, out there, <laughs> give us a call. Uh, and we co-host very well together, we do. as you can tell. You can uh, do. So anyway, Sip with Solis, Success, Inspiration, Prosperity. Okay. And people ask, well, what's the show about if I'm in a pitch, right? And I'll be like, okay, if I have J-Lo sitting here with me, right? I'm gonna ask her, right? In the lines of success, inspiration, and prosperity. Why you? Right. I take the six train all the time. There's a hundred girls on every train with the big ass and baby hair. Why yeah. you? Why did the universe just come down and say, Jennifer mm. Lopez, gonna, yeah, why you? you? And I want her to goddess. answer that question mm. because Sip with Solis is really about power, passion, yeah. purpose, resilience, and all those wonderful things that at the end of the day, if we dumb it down, make you, you. And may I, may I tell you something about J-Lo? Because I was watching an interview with her. This was probably five years ago. Okay, so Jayla's been killing it for 20, right? Yeah. About five Still years ago. Still killing it, by the way. When she, maybe it was a little bit longer, but it was right around the time that she was doing her first American Idol. And she said in an interview, she was like, you know, I was going to go on there as one of the judges. And I thought, you know, who the heck do I think I am? And then she's like, wait a minute. I've had $400 million worth of sales of my records. Like, I know the music industry, I know how to do this. But even her, after all the success that she had had, had this thought of who do I think I am to be a, a national judge on this show? Yeah. So the point is we're all going to have that. Yeah. How can we move that thought over so that we can actually provide the world with our goodness and our light your and our stamp. passion and our, come on. Your stamp. I what, love it so, so much. So one, one of the ways that I do that is really, really simple. So all around my house, yeah. it looks like some like personal coach or <laughs> like a, just threw up in my house on my fridge and my bedroom. The sticky notes and the, and the, and the, um, the images. And I, no, these are printed, baby. These are eight and a half by 11, not <laughs> sticky notes. But in my bathroom, on my mirror, it's really simple. I have something that says two words, mm -hmm. I am dot, dot, dot. So in the morning when I'm brushing my teeth or doing the whole regime, because trust me, there's layers to this shit. It take a long time. <laughs> but when I do that, I just start firing out things about myself. Mm -hmm. I am powerful. I am passionate. I am handsome. I am amazing. I'm blessed. I, and just keep going, 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 going. I guarantee you, by the time you finish putting on your makeup or brushing your teeth, you are, so are going to be so set Woo! for the world that day. And if you don't, go back and do that shit again. Change right. the colors, change the lips, the, who knows, whatever. All I'm saying is that take the time to cultivate the self-love. Mm -hmm. And it is a damn process. And like I said yesterday, I had a breakdown day like no other. And it took me to say, okay, I'm going to sleep right now, and I'm writing all this in my journal, and I'm letting it go. When I wake up tomorrow morning, it's a different day. New day. And I woke up, I put on my blue, and I came oh, here, and it's we a different day. We were synergized, baby. I was feeling so, your blue this morning. I was looking through my closet going, what am I going to wear? And I had this pink dress, and I thought, I'm not feeling the pink dress. I think I'm feeling the blue and white dress. Boom. 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 So, so, so okay, so ultimately, I think we have to... Uh, we, yeah, we're, we're wrapping up here. We're wrapping up mm -hmm. soon. Okay, so we've gotten to the point. Yet first step is believing and owning your brand, and and 
that you do want to be a brand. Right. Because it's not for everybody. Right. People will tell you, I, I'm fine with my job and my family, and I'm good. Uh, and God bless you, because I, sure. I, I wish I wasn't I cursed with who I am. <laughs> like that, uh, that would be so amazing. Then once you kind of do your, your, who you are and you're ready for the world to, to show to the world, you've got to start establishing yourself in that space, whatever it is. Put up videos, start putting stuff on Instagram, start cleaning up your stuff. Yeah. You know, image is really important. I, not everybody can do this, uh, but everyone should, mm -hmm. even if it's just with your iPhone and your, your partner or your child. Start putting up some really amazing um, um, posts about you. If Authentic you're a, if you're a gardener, yeah. be in that damn gardener mm -hmm. and tell me how to plant my um, yeah, kale peculiar. so that I don't have to spend right. $15 on it at Whole Foods. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you, Whatever you are, just start promoting that and really owning it and being within that space. And as I mentioned at the top, you build it, they will come. I was watching another show. Um, shout out to Jason Lee and to Melissa mm -hmm. Ford, Hollywood Unlocked, two good friends of mine who have a great show. They had two influencers on their show yesterday, okay. and it was insane. One of the advice from the influencer was, just get your first million following, and then everything else will come. <laughs> I love you all, but listen, I'm not even there. Uh. I, half the people I know aren't there. So I would take that with a grain of salt, be authentic, mm -hmm give something of value to people, mm -hmm. and the brands will, like her with the makeup, mm -hmm. people are starting to approach me now. Brands will start coming because they're seeing that you're really, in, you know, really sort of um, experienced in the space mm -hmm. and that people ultimately will trust you. Yes. Yes, I love that. Joseph, thank you so much yeah. for sharing uh, your time with us. Of course. I know you're a man that's doing so many things. Yeah. Um, I really love that you were gracious enough to allow us to sip with you this morning. Cheers. Because it has been awesome. Do me a favor for those of you that jumped on a little bit late. Uh, the acronym for SIP with Solis. Success, Inspiration, and Prosperity. I love it so much. Uh, at JD Solis on Instagram and at Drink Marcel. And hopefully someday we can toast and cheers together to you. To you and to your success and to your brand and to the brands that you follow. Because again, at the end of the day, whether you have aspirations to blow yourself up and become the next Coco Chanel or whether you just want to enjoy the entertainment aspect of other people that are doing really cool things. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very you know, digital world that we're living in and it's a world that we are so lucky to be living in because it's offering us so much opportunity. Correct. Um, Joseph, yes. loved seeing you. Thank you, Thank darling. you honey, Mwah. for being with us. Thank As you always. to all of you for Thanks, joining everyone. in. And uh, we will see you again next Thursday here on LA 40. Katerina Kazayas, Joseph Solis. We'll see you again. Ciao, ciao. You're listening to LA 40 with Katerina Kozayas only on LA Talk Radio.